Hey, hi friends, welcome to today's video. So today I'm not going to teach any coding. Instead, we'll see that how we can properly debug the network API call in your app. So it's very common requirement on the app side development that many times you are making API call, but it is failing and you want to debug it, right? That whether it's a problem from the backend side or it's a problem from your side that you are not you know, making proper request object. Now, one of the technique that we use in most of the cases that we put a print statement like for example I'm not just teaching you any code here I'm just showing you that let's say for example this is uh, this is the place where I'm making a network call so I will put a simple uh, print statement here something like this I generally use star mark to differentiate and here we can put response something like that okay and uh, once you run it okay, so see it's getting okay it's and see if, I, if i'm using lmo5 it, it didn't give me anything so let me just use some more property here so let's say that response dot response and uh, this time i should get some detail okay yeah so now you can see that i'm getting some response here in terms of that what is the api call that i'm hitting what is the status and all other information right still i'm not getting uh, what is the result because that is in different uh, object but what if i tell you that there's a better way to see this now we'll use today instrument to debug the network response as well okay so now let me use the instrument but network request will work only with a real-time device like you cannot uh, use the network request instruments with a simulator so I'll just run this on a real-time device so let me select my device and let me select here profile okay so here see when I'm running I'm just selecting that network here and then the instrument will open we start recording it okay so now the recording started okay now you're not seeing my phone here but you're seeing that the instruments so here my real phone is connected and now you can see that it is showing the app the app which I'm running here now here instead of task duration you what you have to select you have to select here list HTTP transactions okay now here it will show you all the HTTP calls that has been made into the app okay now right now if you see we are making just one app one uh, sorry a network call and here you can see all the details in very clearly manner request headers request response headers and then even the response body okay everything is coming in very accurate detail okay you have also the task duration like how much time uh, this particular API call is taking you have also transaction durations so many things you can see from here in very clear manner instead of putting print statement and then doing the things from there okay but this thing is only possible when you have the real device call now when we do the development it's not possible that every time you will have the real device like it's it's, it's, it's a very common phenomenon now in that case how we can do that so obviously in that case we cannot use that i uh, use this so, but there are some other options okay now let's see that so let me just close this instruments now let's say that i'm doing my actual development and i'm not running on my phone instead i'm running on my simulator and i don't want to use this print statement then what should i do now if you don't want to use this there is a third party which is called netfox and this is very good uh, third party for getting this similar type of logs what the instrument was providing it and it's very simple to integrate okay just copy this and it is available through cocoa pod swift package manager anything whatever you are using in your app go here and then add that package And once you add the package, if you see the recommendation, you have to just write one line of code that is import this and 
start this now this did finish launching option is not there in the swift ui code so you can implement your app delegate and then you can write it there okay so in this project i already have implemented so uh, app delegate so i'll just go to my main class and here see i have implemented this app delegate so i'll put this code here okay and i will import netflux okay I think this is a code yeah and now you are done no other code okay now let me run it on the simulator now if you see there are a uh, lot many options let's say that for example the the main question will come that this code will go in your production also right so instead of writing like this you can just use uh, a condition that if it is a development uh, then only this code should be executed if it is any other environment like uat or production you should not execute this code okay now see the api call has done if i refresh it it will make another api call and i have not put any uh, log so it is not printing anything here also okay but then how we can see that actual log now here you have to click on simulator device and then click on sick now the moment you click it see this page will open and see right now i have made two api calls so it is showing two okay and once you click it it will show you all the details like the info it will show you the url the status the request date time interval okay then if you go to request the actual request body because it's a guest get call so there is no request body and then see you can see the response what the response we are getting and even the response body actual so this helps you a lot when you are facing any site any kind of problem in your network call so instead of you know bugging your backend developer that you are wrong or uh, i am wrong you can just visualize one time properly that here actually the problem is happening whether you are doing something wrong in the coding uh, decoding side or the proper request is getting formed or not so this really helps a lot and the best thing is that you can even share it like you can click on this you can simple log full log let's say that if i click on full log you can copy it and you can share it let's say that if i want to paste it i can paste the whole log here okay so if somebody asks you that give me how much time particular api call is taking just you can use this and show him directly okay so hope uh, this video is interesting for you and if you have not subscribed the channel then i'll suggest you subscribe subscribing the channel thanks for watching thank you